So uh, join us now, Victor Afable, and he is the uh, founder and CEO of, of VA Composites. He's, he's one of the – I've got all of the top guys with me this morning. Victor's – I've known Victor for a long time. He's one of the most respected people in this industry as well. Victor, thanks for joining us. How you doing, bud? Good. How you doing, Hank? How's it going? I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, uh, tell us about your your, your, your company. Nick's, Nick's uh, very high on it. Uh, you know, you have a passion for doing things right. Um, give me give me a little uh, you know rundown on on VA composites. Yeah, VA composites. We're on year two now. You know, Hank. You just like just like you said, we just I've had a passion all my life to really you know help golfers play better. And you know, and part of that passion is 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 create designing and and manufacturing the best shafts possible. And you know, not only for good players, but for 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 everyone. You know, there's a shaft for everyone, and and um, you know, designing and manufacturing a great shaft is only the first part. The second part, which is highly important, why we're on this show and and why we're partners with Club Champion, is that. It, you need a good fitter to understand shafts and to um, and and the second part of that is is guys that know how to install them, build them correctly, and Club Champions the best. Well, I mean, I, I think they are too. That's that, that's why I'm associated with them. And uh, Nick, how, uh, how do we how do we do just what Victor said? How do how how do, how do you train a fitter to find the right shaft for each person? Well, you know, that that's what's uh, so great and Victor understands is you can go online and you can read all about these golf shafts and, you know, this one goes high, this one goes low, this one spins more, this one spins less. But a golf shaft in an individual's hands is going to react differently based on how that golfer's body composition is, muscle composition, how they swing. And so, you know, uh, one of the things that we teach our fitters is how the shaft is going to create uh, – function or swing for that golfer and and that's what we love about like a, a victor or a, a, a va composites is yeah you can look up and down the tour every week and you've done that and you see all these shafts but there's just there's there's got to be the shaft for that golfer and victor understands making different profiles and different you know with higher quality that's going to lead to performance for more golfers mm. yeah victor afabli and and uh, nick sherburn are my guests here on hank Haney golf radio victor one of the most respected shaft guys in the industry is company VA Composites. Uh, is doing a fantastic job, and uh, Nick, of course, is the uh, well. He's one of the co-founders of Club Champion, and he's been on my my show a lot. He's he's uh, the the master master fitter in in the in the business. Uh, Victor, talk talk about making golf shafts. Let's just talk about this industry for 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 a little while. Um, <laughs> there's graphite shafts, okay, and then I mean, there's I don't know. I think there's five dollar graphite shafts and there's five hundred dollar graphite shafts. What what is? I mean, obviously there's got to be some difference in, in in those. I think, but people in their minds like it's either graphite or it's not. But there's a big big difference between a really good graphite shaft and just a graphite shaft. Just it, it, take us through that a little bit. Yeah, good good question, Hank. Um... And you're right. There are, you know, there are shafts that are are five dollars, and and there are shafts that are, you know, a thousand dollars. You know, our 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 highest price shaft is is in the four hundred dollar range, four hundred fifty dollar range, and it really um, it, it it really depends on the materials that you use. Everything that we do, we we truly believe that we use the best materials possible, um, and it, and we and we use a company out of Japan where um, these guys, these guys make the best, what we call pre preg which is the raw part of graphite before it actually turns to graphite. Um, you know, they supply uh, aerospace, they supply Boeing. Um, so I'm thinking if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if Boeing is, is using uh, uh, these materials to, uh, uh, to fly people around the world, uh, uh, that's probably good enough for us, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but anyhow, it's uh, it, but really getting back to the question, it really depends on what what we're doing, how what kind of materials. Um, the the more expensive, it actually costs us more money to make a lightweight shaft, like a forty five gram shaft, as opposed to a seventy five gram shaft, because we have to use materials that use. Um, less resin in the mm. in the in the pre-preg and it makes it lighter 
and because of that, it becomes more expensive. Um, there are different grades. You know, they're they're what we call 24 ton and and all the way up to to 90 ton. And as you get, go up in numbers to 90, it gets more expensive. Um, most of the shafts don't use like a complete 90 ton. There's a combination of these of these materials, but uh, it's mainly it's mainly about materials and uh, where they where they come from and how they're manufactured. You know, Nick Serburn's our our guest, and, and Victor Fable. Uh, we're talking golf shafts here on Hank Haney Golf Radio, and. and uh... Nick, let me ask you this: How do you how do you tell the difference between a cheap shaft and a really good shaft? I mean, I, I mean, like, okay, they, you know, different. All people see are the different designs, the paint, the color. I mean, how well, how, how do you spot it? Uh, you know, you probably spot it a mile away, but how do you how do you know? Well, and I think a good follow up question too would be: Is I think a lot of people think that these shafts are just mechanically made. And Vic can tell you most of this is all handmade. Golf oh, shafts wow. are more handmade. Now, there's some mechanical to it, right, Vic? But mostly yeah. a lot of it's hand done. And exactly. so, so, you know, um, there's a lot of things, like when we were talking about peering, there's a lot of things that can go into making a great golf shaft and making an okay golf shaft. Here's what I do want everybody to understand. There's a better chance that the $400 shaft works better than the five hundred or the $5 shaft. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'll never say that a $5 shaft might not work for somebody. Yeah, yeah. Because there's just the right shaft for you. And, um, you know, that's what we're always trying to do. But you do have a better chance of finding some performance and probably spending a little bit more on a well, golf shaft. All right, Victor, how do you, how do you make these shafts? What, I mean, uh, okay, they're, if, they're hand, if they're handmade, what, 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 is, the guy, what is the guy doing to, to make a graphite shaft? Yeah, it's a. Uh, that's uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the uh, I'll give give you the 30 second version. Yeah, and it's, that's it's what obviously complex. It's a little bit more complicated than that. But you know, we start out with uh, a raw pre preg material, which is which is pliable, and we cut it into different flags that are wrapped around a steel mandrel. Um, once they're wrapped around the steel mandrel, the important thing that that you, that your your listeners would would really want to know is. Um, the, the handmade part about it, there's a press that comes down and presses these materials around the steel mandrel very tightly. You do not want to have voids between layers of graphite. That's where you get breakage. Um, and once that's done, and once, and once you, you, you really have a tight, um, uh, a tight, the, these layers are very tight. It's actually put in an oven and it's baked for about an hour and a half at 300 degrees. Um, and when that happens, the graphite goes, goes from soft to an actual, you know, hard graphite, the graphite that you, you know, the, the steel mandrels pulled outside the shaft. Um, and then we, we do a centerless grind. So it, it, we get it as round as possible as we can. So it's basically sanded on the outside. And then we go into cosmetics. We, you know, we, we, basically put two layers of paint on it the base coat we put decals on top of it and then we put a clear coat on it so it is it is a slightly long process um we spent a lot of time on details um, making sure that the frequencies come out exact um making sure that the weight is exact um you know since we're we're a smaller manufacturer we're more of a boutique shaft company um just, just in general, the, the, you know, when when you make less volume, um, your tolerances are going to be high, are going to be tighter. As right. as you know, when you, when you, you go from a thousand to a hundred thousand shafts, your tolerances tend to go up, so your weight starts to fluctuate a little bit more. Your frequencies tend to fluctuate a little bit more. So that's why we're one of the best shaft manufacturers in the world because we just don't make as many shafts as our competitors. Hmm. Yeah, Victor Afobli is our, our guest here on Hank Haney Golf Radio. He's the founder of VA Composites. When, when you founded that VA Composites, and you've been in the shaft business for for a long time, I've known you for for a long time. Uh, you're one of the most respected guys in this in this industry. Uh, what what was your what was your your mission? What was your mission statement when you when you founded this company? I mean, what, what how do how do you how do you want to stand out, and how do you stand out? You know, I. Um... At the end of the day, I just want to I, I want to supply shafts. I want to give people shafts that are going to help them play better golf, going to give you better distance, and not just 
better distance, but tighter dispersion. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, the guy's going to enjoy golf a lot more. And, um, you know, I guess just be remembered for that. It's, you know, it's been a long career. It's been 35 years um, working for several companies. And, and um, you know, I've just taken all the knowledge that I've learned along the years and have, have brought it to this day and, and love what love what I do. Love the people I work with, um, um, and um, it's just and and working with with you know Nick for a long time and club champion. I'm, it's just great to see these guys come from where they are, and um, you know events like yesterday and talking to meeting all the fitters and and just uh, hanging out with those guys. It's that's what I love. It's kind of like what you love talking about golf. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's it's, it's, it's just great. It's great to be around it. I know. I said. I said. I said. To, you know. Earlier this morning, I said, "There's no more passionate group in golf, you know, than than the teachers and, and, and club fitters. I mean, that's just a, about as grassroots as it gets. About as passionate as it as it gets." Nick Sherburn, also our guest here on Hank Any Golf Radio, and he's the, the master fitter, trains all the, the club fitters for Club Champion. One of the one of the co-founders, uh, Nick. When, when Victor's talking about distance and dispersion with shafts. I think the biggest mystery in golf are golf shafts. I mean, I, I, I don't. Definitely. I mean, people look at them and they they have no earthly idea what 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 they're they're looking at. I mean, how how do you well, pick why, out the right one for people? Well, that was one reason I wanted Vic to go through that. I don't think they under, uh, most golfers understand how a shaft is made and how integral. I think they just think a press pounds it out and away you go. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of thought that goes into these shafts and. You know, you walk into one of our stores, we have 200 different wood shafts, 200 different iron shafts, and, and uh, we have shafts that weigh anywhere from 29 grams all the way up to 140 grams. And then within those weights, we have different flexes, and then within those different flexes, we have different profiles, which means how the shaft bends along its length. So is it firmer in the butt section? Is it firmer in the tip or vice versa? And your body is going to react to this. It's like if I gave you two hammers, I gave you a sledgehammer and I gave you a little baleen hammer, you would have better luck with one or the other because one's too heavy and one's too light or one's perfect and one's too heavy same thing with a golf shaft and golf shaft is where you connect to the golf club so when i train our fitters one of the things i talk about is is you're going to use shaft to create speed and consistency because that's what your body if your body is fighting a golf shaft it can't be fast Hmm. if your body is fighting um, a golf shaft it can't be consistent but when it's you know when the shaft has that right profile that right weight your body is working as fast and as efficiently and you will have the fastest ball speeds which equates the distance and the most consistency hmm. and then you can use head from there to dial in some of the other characteristics that we always talk about that are important right 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 so 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 victor what, what, what do you see as the as the, the future of well your your, your company and you know it just it just golf shafts in, in in general i mean obviously every every uh industry evolves and and uh, you know golf shafts have, have changed a a lot, I'm sure. I'm sure over the years. I mean, I, you know, I mean, hey, I, I barely know what I'm looking at, but but it, I, I clearly understand that things have have changed. Uh, based on where we've 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 been, I mean, where where do you where do you see everything going? You know, we we continue to we continue to look for new materials um, that we might be able to um, combine with with our you know with our our present graphite materials. And to you know maybe give it different uh, different launch uh, uh, launch angles and and spin characteristics. Um, you know we're we're looking at moving the weight around, maybe moving weight more towards the butt end of the shaft, um, which gives you more of a counterbalance effect. You know there's so many things we can do, but at the same time we need to pay attention to the guys like Callaway. Um, who, who, you know, are the leaders or one of the leaders in, in, in head technology. And we need to try and um, work with matching our shafts to that new technology. So everything's always evolving. Um, and it's fun. It's, you know, it's just fun to try and find new things and, and um, just make golf an easier game. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's good stuff. Victor, I appreciate you joining me. Always uh, good to, to talk to you, my friend. Good to see you last night. Yeah. Can't, can't wait to try your to you. shafts. Looking forward to that. That's, uh, you know, you, you, you like dangle the carrot in front of me there last night, you know, and I got to, you know, <laughs> now, now I like, I, I got to, can't wait to get out there and hit him. But uh, I appreciate you coming on. We'll do, we'll do it again, my friend. 
Good, good to yeah, talk well, to you. Yeah, well, you'll, you'll have a care package coming pretty soon. So uh, <laughs> always always good talking to you too, Hank. Thanks for your friendship. Congratulations on your career. And um, look forward to talking to you soon. All right, bud. Victor Avabli, okay. he's the uh, founder and CEO of, of VA Composites. Uh, talking some golf chefs here and, well, club fitting in general. I'm at uh, Club Champions, uh, well, a big uh, get-together in Oak Brook, Illinois. They've got all their club fitters here. A lot of their partners in the industry are here.